Well, well you talked about at one point that you were so broke mm. that you had to ru- run an extension cord from the neighbor's house mm. into yours so you have electricity at your house. Mm. Well, what time was this? Oh, uh, this was around. Uh, right when I had my son, like he probably was just born. Right when I had my son, like after high school, sometime like I can't even a few years ago for real, like not too long ago. You know what I'm saying? Not not too long ago. Not too long ago. As you sit here with a diamond necklace yeah. <laughs> and and a bunch of shows booked yeah. and a plat and a platinum album, you know, in your in your living room, you had to call your neighbor and say, "Can you take this extension cord and run into my house?" Because what they they turned off your uh, your electricity because you weren't paying. Turned off the electricity, couldn't pay the bill. So uh, I had a neighbor next door to me. Um, we used to call him old school, and um. I I just like I used to go over there like hey bro let me warm this up over here let me warm these hot pockets up right quick to get the kids whatever you know what I'm saying and then we used to, I used to have counters at first too so then one day I just asked hey bro you let me um run this extension cord right quick just so I can heat this up or turn this light on right fast or you know what I'm saying plug the microwave in you know what I'm saying had everything right there from running from Departments were together like this. So one window was like next to the next one. See what I'm saying? So I ran it from out this room to this room and out of there into the living room. So you were actually, before that, you just had a whole house full of candles? Like a, basically you were squatting in a house, essentially? Oh, uh, yeah, we probably had a few. Like, and it, it wasn't like I was doing it for a whole month or no nothing like that. It just... Power went out, couldn't pay the bill every week. I probably ain't gonna be able to cut them on until two, three weeks. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, uh, we'll go buy a counter, buy a counter. When we at the house, every other day we might just stay at somebody's house. You know what I'm saying? Till I said, hey, bro, let me let me run this extension cord right quick. I mean, during that time when you were sitting there with a, a newborn baby. No power in the house. Mm-hmm. What do you think was the the worst thing you did to get money at that point? Um, because that type of desperation usually leads to, you know, I mean it do for somebody who weak. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I don't believe in stealing, and I don't believe in lying anyway. So I would never do no shiesty thieving shit or nothing, you know what I'm saying? I think the worst thing I ever did was give up on myself and go work at Waffle House. You know what I'm saying? That's probably the worst thing I did as far as at that time. Like, I just gave up. I lost all hope in believing that I can do what I'm trying to do. And I just was like, fuck it. I, I'm going to be one of these niggas working a nine to five. Shit, it is what it is. Yeah, which is not the worst thing in the world. I mean, it know? ain't, but... It ain't, but I watched my dad all my life, you know what I'm saying, get up and go. Like, I ain't re- he wasn't really around like that and he, even when I was staying with him, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was gone all the time. So I always say I don't want to be like that. I want to be able to be with my kids, live with my kids, and do shit with my kids. I want to be able to teach them shit, show them shit, um, learn them for real, you know what I'm saying, grow with them for real. So I don't watch my dad drive trucks all my life. He gone. I used to come home and be like, hey, you help me with the homework. He tired. He sleep. Or uh, he don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. Like, what <laughs> what type of homework, man? I ain't know how long. I'm like, cool, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, I ain't never want that shit. And I ain't, I feel like I watched my dad slay for years in them trucks, man. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't with that shit. I ain't, I wanna I wanna I wanna be my own boss, be my own uh, uh person, be a father for real, be a family man for real, set examples for real, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, hey man, everything's for everybody. Yeah. Shout out to all the truck drivers out there that are supporting their families. A man gonna do what a man gotta do anyway, at the end of the day, a real man. That's why I was at Waffle House, you know what I'm saying? That's why I was <laughs> trying to work a temp service or something because I had to do what I had to do for my kid, but 
No, I wouldn't that ain't I wouldn't encourage nobody to settle for less, bro. Yeah. 